Hey, I've got an idea for the next Doctor Who intro. Oh, please tell me it's not another Joe joke. Dude, I don't know what you mean. The Joe jokes are brilliant. Look, man, some things can't be helped. Like how Steve Jobs died of Ligma. I fail to see how this has any relation to what we were talking about. Ligma balls. Ah, crap baskets. I wonder how I did that. Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Doctor Who. Last time on Doctor Who we had Spyfall Part 2, which rhymes with Doctor Who. The more you know, I suppose. Uh, yes, we continued on. Uh, the Doctor uh, was taken away to that other dimension, but she was able to get out in the 18th, or no, the 19th century, technically. Uh, she and uh, met Ada Lovelace, and then was able to get to the 40s, where she met... Uh, what was her name? It was like Nor Khan or something like that. Uh, for, I forget her name, unfortunately. Um, but then, talked to the Master. Uh, we found out Gallifrey was destroyed. Went back, beat the Master after stealing his own TARDIS. And then uh, got him, got the Kasavin to turn on him. And then we did go to Gallifrey, and it was destroyed by the Master. It's kind of an important detail he left out. Uh, but Gallifrey was destroyed by the Master because of what he had discovered. Because apparently, he and the Doctor have been lied to, and the entire founding of the Society of Gallifrey has been a lie. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see uh, what that's going to be later? Not, I don't know. Could be this episode, though I'm gonna kinda doubt it. This is, this is generally where we get our, you know, we set up the arc of this season... But then we don't really get it again for a while, so, uh, yeah. Um, and that was basically that. Uh, yeah. I guess that is basically that. So we might as well go ahead and get into this episode of Doctor Who. Here we go. No, the cold opens are gone. Damn you! Damn you, Chip Nolan, you're no cold opens. I guess Ed Heim wrote this. What the hell? Great work, guys. And sorry again. I did not know it was their mating season. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Son. I've got it. Collect six coupons, get a free holiday. Hey. I hope you've passed. They're not just coupons. That's a teleport cube. Just activated. We've got about four seconds. No, 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 no. I've got to go and fetch me speedos. Oh, God, no. We don't. Only joking. Already got them on. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. I like that. Did they actually? This is a bit of all right, isn't it? I like that it was Graham that figured out how to get the. Oh shit! We're in cats. And I am gonna sit over there for three hours. Then I'm gonna get up and sit somewhere else. Then cocktails, all inclusive, Doc. Gotta get your coupons worth. Oh, that is exactly what I would do. Meh. Ah, she's on her own. This is, you know, this is kind of giving me some midnight vibes. We never needed to be married. You say that. Hmm. But. Wow. Oh, hello. Not bad, is it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Um. This place has got everything. Oh, this poor guy. 46 years they've been together without marriage. Might as well get to 50, man. Wow. Oh. Fighting with a vending machine? No, we just gave me an electric shock. That's not a shock. It's a hopper virus. A what? He's sick and he just passed his virus on to you. First you get the wiggly fingers, which is a warning. The legs are about to go. Oh, what? Okay. The first aid training kicks in. Time to be a doctor. Get rid of these. Then pinch your ear. Then you're going to sneeze. Oh. Yes. Huh. So keep them until the hallucinations stop. And remember, they're not real bats. <laughs> they're not real bats. No. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay, I'm a doctor. They're not real, man. Jesus. You have a family? Oh my gosh, Ryan. Hotel critic. Mm. You? Oh, I'm coupons. Yeah. I'm a pilot, surgeon, pilot, surgeon. A I'm pilot, a surgeon? surgeon? All pilots. Ah. I'd say someone is targeting you. Now, why would they do that? 
Also, why is that alarm going off? And why do you look so concerned? Also, where does the three come in hyphen? Never mind. That one can wait. Also, yeah. also what's behind that door? Because no linen cupboard needs a key with that many security gradings. No. Let's take a look. Uh, she's so itching for a case. Pan Galactic Standards and Practices Officer. Health and safety? No. Security and hygiene? Anything. Resort inspector. Now. The there you go. <laughs> Took a while. Have a look. Ugh. You can hear this message. You shouldn't be here. Ugh. Immediately. Oh, God. It's a xenomorph. Oh, it's multiples. You want a crash wrench? Oi, you're not a mechanic. You're a child. Now pass me the snap hammer. I'm Nevy. This is my boy Silas. Hi. Hi Silas. Your hair is stupid. To show up without warning. You can't build an ionic membrane from scratch. If I had crayons and half a can of spam, I could build you from <laughs> scratch. Now out of my way. Whoa. <laughs> that was the greatest flex I've ever heard. Don't go back for the hat. What are you doing? What is happening right now? God. Duh. Blimey. Right, I mean, yeah. Why am I struggle, son? Oh. It's a fake occasion. Oh, a really good one. Yeah. Well, so none of this is real? The hotel is and the pool. But you reach a certain point. It's like the Hunger Games. It's a dome. Now, Kane. Hmm. Kane looks familiar. I'm gonna lie. We better go and fire up the truck. Yeah. I'll build it myself. Oh God. Good. Tell me you helped him build it. I'm moving out. Yeah, this this guy is an idiot. Always remain inside the vehicle. Oh my God! Now it really is midnight. Because it's uninhabitable. Oh, yeah. It's scientists that let this happen. There's nearly always a ruling elite that gets to evacuate, and then signs off all responsibility for whatever they've left behind. That's messed up. Happens more than you think. No. This is all from 55. A few years with the right terraforming, we can reduce the CO2 and make the whole planet habitable. Terraforming, bankrolled by fakeication. Oh. So if you sort out your dread problem, you'll be rich. Yeah. Well, that is clever. And why is your gun fitted with an XFX modulator? They randomized laser output. Hmm. You'd only need that against a thing that could adapt to your attack. Oh. They're an adaptable species. Apex predators are we, we driving straight into their territory. Okay, so this plan was not thought through. How long have you been unemployed? <laughs> Is that the worst chat up line ever? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you just witness history. Alright, good. Play it play it off. What's going on? Just talking, having a conversation. Okay. What are we up to? <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Oh, Doc. What are you talking about? Oh my God, these two. Uh, uh, we both have dead parents. Oh, thank God. Let's move on. <laughs> How are there trees on this planet? How are there trees on this planet? And like, eh. I just wouldn't think that. Is just past this ridge. I feel like we're in a completely different place than we were. If anyone can, will they please shoot me? Benny! Yeah, what that's not. To you? Is he one of them? Fight enemy. Born needs me. We need you. You know this planet. Get us to the tunnels. Well, uh, it's all right. Vorm's probably still alive. If Benny's still alive, not in a great condition, but. Uh. Don't worry, I killed him. Oh. What did oh. You just say? What, Benny? He asked me to. Just like oh. that, damn. Help. There's a room down there where I stashed a medipack. Bet Joe we can get out of here. Whoa, damn. Bella. Where's the maintenance teleport, Kane? I'd rather die than tell you. Oh, you're going to die. It's just whether I shoot and kill you now, or wound you and leave you to the dregs. What, what the fuck? You want to burn everything you've built to the ground. Not okay. Yet. And she doesn't even recognize me now. Uh-huh. 
Trixabel. Oh. And she gave me the name Trixabel. The teleport is oh. behind you. Oh. Okay. This is not the way to resolve a family dispute. This is a no, weird episode, man. Why didn't you close the hatch? You don't get to judge me. This project. I think spot. we do. I was only doing it to gift her. Maybe you should have mentioned that before you pulled a gun on it. You should have mentioned that a lot okay. sooner. This looks like Russian. Okay. This is Earth. What? We're on Earth? In Siberia? Uh, ah, shit. God, we're gonna have a fucking knife or something. Just go down swinging. Thanks. She's gonna go in. Humans, aren't they? Uh, I'm sorry. You deserve better. Ah! Oh! If this is Earth, then what are Or else, mutated. Yeah. Yes, the few that didn't die. Oh, no, they can't be. How did Earth end up like this? Good warnings from every scientist alive. No. Global warming, huh? Which is what? So, William 3 mutates into when he's attacked by. The hopper virus. Good luck with that, Dad. She's kept that the whole time. Why would you go outside, you stupid child? Graham, you're with Nevi. Bella, we're gonna find Silas. I'll try and boost the oxygen levels. Why should I take orders from you? Because fuck you, I'm the doctor. One small problem. You've got a plan, right? Oh, it's brewing. Nah, working on it. Three eighths of a plan, right here. Two eighths. I'll be honest, all I've got is a letter P, but sometimes it's all I need. Yeah. Oh. Ow! You've been brilliant. Why do you Fix your hair color. Stupid. Uh, what happened there? Get away from her! What the hell? Back to the TARDIS. Did they make it out though? But it's one possible future. It's one timeline. Yeah. Let me to tell you that Earth's gonna be okay. According to another timeline, Salamander should have taken over in 2018. In your time, people can save planets or wreck them. That's See, the choice. What we really need is be Captain the Planet. Best of humanity. Oh. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that episode. Wait a sec. Okay, that's why she looks so familiar. It's Lydia. That was Lydia from Breaking Bad. Okay, that's why. I, I kept looking at it. I was like, she looks so familiar. And I was going through... See, I was going through, like, British actors that I, that I knew. Oh, that's why it was so confusing. Because she doesn't use... She doesn't have an accent on Breaking Bad. Or she has an American accent on Breaking Bad. That's why. Okay, that was Lydia. Oh, uh, that's sweet. I, I, I like Lydia, so I, that was cool. Um, I didn't like this episode. <laughs> can, um, can I just say that? Can I just, can we just start with that? I didn't like this episode. Um. Uh, I don't. It was. I mean, let's face it. You guys know me. 
I can be a very accepting guy when it comes to Doctor Who episodes. I think the most infamous is Kill the Moon, where there was a overwhelming majority... And I know there are some people that like Kill the Moon, but there was an overwhelming majority of people that hated Kill the Moon. But I liked it. This one, I will be interested to see comments on, because, um, yeah, I, I didn't like it. I did not like it. Um, now, the last episode that I didn't like was Sleep No More, and that was honestly just kind of boring, you know? Like, that really wasn't, that really wasn't bad person like it was an interesting concept but it just ended up being boring this one i mean this one i i guess the concept is interesting because the concept is midnight it's it's midnight it's the series four episode midnight you know that's that's exactly what it is. Um, I just went back to the Orphan 55 page. Ed Heim. Who is this guy that wrote this episode? Because I don't think I've ever... Okay. Well, okay. So this guy... Yeah, I'm, We're kind of doing... This is kind of what we do with classic Doctor Who where we start to recognize writers. This guy has... Uh, five writing credits, which is fine. He also wrote It Takes You Away, the episode from last season, It Takes You Away. And that was a really good episode. This was not. So what the hell? What happened? Because this was, if you took Midnight and Smile... And, I don't know. I don't know. That wasn't, that was, that, 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 it wasn't good. That, that was not good. Uh, the, I'm, and long before the blatant PSA about environmentalism, you know, took place. And see, I was struggling because I was like, okay, here's this environmental message. And at the end, it is a that is almost a straight-up PSA. Like, the only thing that's missing is the doctor just, you know, just saying, you know, remember, audience, you need to clean up your, par uh, y y your parents. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, your planet. Jesus Christ. I don't know where that came from. Uh, you need to clean up your planet. Like, that's literally all that's missing is just a, is just her looking at the camera and directly talking to the audience, you know? Um, but whatever, PSA, what the hell ever, you know, I, I, obviously, you know, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, they'll ta they'll tackle, like, contemporary issues and stuff like that in episodes, so that's not the problem. The problem is that it was very blatant, but... Long before that, I had other problems with this episode. I, uh, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I just... I. Okay. Let's try to talk about... I, here's the problem is, every time we get an episode that I don't like, which is not very often... But I never want to talk about it that much. I kind of just want to be like, okay, that happened, and then move on, you know? So, I... I don't know. That was... that, I, Which, I guess, every doctor kind of needs a, an episode where you're like, okay, that happened. I, well, I guess. I say that, but now I can't think of, like, other episodes. Like, I'm thinking of, like, you know... Okay, even, like... Even, you know, the quote-unquote worst episode, Love and Monsters, I can still kind of enjoy on some level. Like, I, it's kind of grown on me over the years. Um, 
which Christ, it has been years since I reacted to that episode, but it's kind of grown on me over the years. Like, uh, honestly, I, like I kind of look back at that at that episode and be like, "Oh, that was a goofy little episode." And I look back at like Sleep No More. I'm like, "Well, that was a that was an interesting concept that just didn't pan out," you know. Whereas this one, I don't know what happened here. Okay. So I'm going to try to move through, I'm going to talk about mainly the criticisms for this episode, because there's a lot, there's, there's stuff that we, okay. So, okay, well, you know what, wait, let's talk about some interesting things. First off, the concept I did say was kind of interesting, but the problem is the concept is if you took Smile and Midnight, and the Suranga Conundrum, and you put all three of those together, it's exactly that. Which, on its own, could be an interesting idea. Like, okay, they're going to this, you know, place for a vacation, and it is different from Midnight, you know, where Midnight, it was the Doctor alone, there was no Donna in that, well, I mean, you know, Donna was off actually relaxing while the Doctor was going on that trip, and that episode, and again, which I... I, I don't know. It, I, I, it kind of came off in that reaction that I didn't like that episode. I did like it. It was just frustrating because obviously it's supposed to be frustrating. Those people were supposed to be infuriating. And they were. And I've really, you know, come around more to that episode. And it is a really great episode, honestly. Um, it's just so difficult, like, on your first viewing. Um, or at least it was for me. But... So, this already is at least different from that, where, okay, this is still, it's the whole crew, and, you know, they're not in just one location, and, but then it becomes Suranga Conundrum, where it's like, okay, there's some sort of alien thing, and we have to deal with it, and here are these guys with guns, and we gotta go deal with that and stuff. Um... <sighs> yeah, and the visuals remind me of Smile, so, yeah... Uh, but again, it is at least a decent premise, you know, even if it does borrow from other episodes, it is still a decent premise. Um, so there's at least that. In terms of the other stuff, um, uh, I like the idea of terraforming an orphan planet in order to sell it, basically, or in, or in order to rule the planet and you know become rich that was actually a very interesting concept uh i did like that so yeah that that was really interesting and you know the the way that they're funding it is through uh the fakeations uh i thought that was very clever so so i like that um and then just the whole concept of an orphan planet is very interesting. Um, okay, let's get into the stuff I didn't like. Um, oh, and okay, the, uh, maybe one other thing. Uh, the hopper, the hopper virus. Weird, but kind of interesting. So I did kind of like that. Okay. Um, okay, there's a lot here. Uh, okay, I didn't hate Kane. Kane was a very standard, like, okay, here's the person with a gun who gets in the doctor's way and, you know, doesn't listen to reason. Okay. The plot twist with Kane and Bella, I thought was very weird. Where suddenly Bella is like this terrorist that wants to destroy this place to get revenge on her mother, who is there. And then, you know, like, she turns her back for one second, and Kane whips out her gun on her, and it's like, whoa, okay, that's a little much, guys, you know? So I didn't... I thought that was weird. And the fact that Bella is kind of a shitty terrorist, too. It's like, she said, like, oh, I've made a bunch of bombs. But then she's not that good at it, and she, I don't know. That was weird. Um, again, Kane was okay. Kane, Kane was kind of like the concept of this episode. Like, 
good, but it just didn't go anywhere, you know? Um, the dregs were interesting, and uh, the dregs were interesting until they were revealed to be humans, actually. Like, but the whole thing about, like, oh, they, they inhale carbon dioxide and exhale trees, like, oh, so they're, uh, yeah, or, did I say they exhale trees? I, I, I got my sentences a little mixed up. They ex, <laughs> they exhale oxygen like trees i think i just skipped a few words there my bad my brain is apparently going all over the place today um they they exhale trees that's hilarious um but yeah so they they exhale oxygen they're like very angry trees that was an interesting idea you know basically like this opposite life form you know they're an opposite life form to us but that also would then show why you know, I guess there are trees still in this place, you know? So, that was interesting. Um, although, why they are weakened by oxygen, I didn't fully understand that. Like, I guess just because they're not... I guess it's like us trying to breathe in carbon dioxide. It doesn't work, so... Um, we can talk about Benny and Vilma... I thought they were boring. Um, like, you know, okay, Benny gets kidnapped because he went back for the hat like an idiot. And then Vilma just is, you know, cons rightfully concerned, but they don't really do anything with that. And then just like, oh, Kane just killed him off screen. Like, what the hell? You know? Well, so... That, so that just sort of ends, and then Vilma sacrifices herself. Um, fucking Vorm is just dead. Jesus Christ! Like, like, Kane was going to go try at least to help him, and the doctor was like, "No, we need your help." Not even like, "No, we need your help." If the dregs are keeping them alive, we'll try to get them later. Like they don't bring it up again. It's like, no, uh, he's just dead. Like. He's just dead. Fuck him. Fuck him. He's gonna be dead. Let's go to the tunnels. So, so okay. That that actually is why I had to look up who wrote this episode, which makes it so weird that this person wrote "It Takes You Away" because that's not the doctor. You know, the doctor wouldn't, or at the very least, say something like he's too far gone. You know, or, or there is a moment where they know he's dead, or if they say something like he's dead already or we'll try to go back you know we'll go back and we will get him if he's still alive or something the fact that it was just i have to go help him no help us instead like what the fuck what the fuck is that you know uh so that was weird okay oh we could talk about silas and nevi I thought that was stupid as shit, too. Like, here's this incompetent mechanic, but his son is a good mechanic. They have the dumbest-looking fucking hair. Um, like, okay, you put on green wigs? The guy has a dark beard, though. Why give them this bright-ass Joker green hair if you're not gonna dye his actual beard, you know? So, that was weird, but then, like, yeah, oh, they're going, he's going to realize that his son is really good. But then the son leaves, Silas, like, leaves, and then it's like, oh, whatever, dad. And then he just leaves, and then he goes out into the drag infested hotel, and they have to go save his dumb ass. And then, there's not even, like, a real moment of, like, oh... Yeah, it, I, I thought there was going to be a moment of Graham being like, hey, you know, you, you need to, you, your son can do this, you know, you, you need to recognize your son's talents or something, and he's like, oh, you're, you're right, I need to, I need my son, it's like, no, he's just, ah, I need my son, I don't know, it's like, what the hell, what, bad writing, bad writing is what this episode is, what on earth, because we are on earth, Because and then there's that plot twist that, oh, this is the future, but they say, oh, it's a possible future. 
it, it's a possible future. Well, yeah, it's a possible future, but right now, that is the future. The moon becoming a dragon is a possible fucking future, but we saw it fucking happen. You're really banking on that, you know? And then... I don't know... I don't know. And then it becomes a... It becomes a straight-up PSA, and it's like... And if you don't do it, and then it ends on the dregs, like, ah, and then cut, end of episode. What the fuck kind of Saturday morning ass PSA is this? Like, which, that's not even fair to Saturday morning PSAs, because Saturday morning PSAs are better than that, you know? Oh, man, see, at, you know, at first I, I just didn't like this episode, now I'm getting kind of mad about this episode. This episode sucked. Jesus Christ. Like, sat I've seen, like, PSAs from, like, Sailor Moon and Static Shock that were better than this, you know? Like, and, and Static Shock does that, did that a lot, like, on that show, you know? Where, you know, they'll, they'll have a PSA at the end about, like, gun safety and shit like that, you know? So, like, I've, like, I've seen Saturday morning PSAs that are better than this. Fucking Captain Planet is less obvious than this, you know? what the hell that okay so i can now definitively say this has been the worst episode of the 13th doctor and we do still have you know the rest of the season but i don't think i i, I don't know because again last season Last season, like, there were episodes where I was like, okay, I didn't, you know, it, it was fine, you know, it was good, but whatever. Like, uh, one in particular I'm thinking about is Arachnids in the UK. That episode was, I, I was considering that my least favorite so far, and uh, to an extent, and it is still pretty low, but that one is just, okay, whatever, they get a little, oh, this guy is more like Trump, and blah, 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 it's like, okay, whatever. But I didn't really, I didn't really think about it too much. I was like, okay, well, that just wasn't an okay episode. Like, whatever. Is, is it good? Eh. Is it bad? No, not really. But it's, it's just, eh. It's whatever, you know? Whereas this one, like, no, this is not a good episode. This is a bad episode. And now, I guess in me looking up the writer of this, you know, uh, first off, again, so weird that this is the guy that wrote It Takes You Away. Because that was a good episode. I really enjoyed that one. But in doing so, I did notice this guy has not written another Doctor Who episode. And thank God for that. Because this guy... We need to get him away or just something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened here. Because again, It Takes You Away is a great episode. This is not. So, oh man... What a shame, man. What a shame. Because it is a, a decently interesting concept. And the stuff with the whole, like, okay, you know, they're funding... They're going to terraform this orphan planet. And they're funding it through this, you know, vacation dome. Like, okay, well, that's very clever. I, like, I kind of like that. That's interesting. And... And, and, like, the hopper was kind of interesting, you know? And the dregs, you know, they were an interesting design, at least, you know? But then, just, what happened here, you know? Oh, I don't know. So, okay. Uh, definite bottom of the barrel for the 13th Doctor, but let's face it, if this is the bottom of the barrel, we've got a pretty decent barrel going on, you know? Because, again, I've still loved most of the episodes we've had. The historicals have been great. Spyfall was incredible. So, if this is our lowest point, that's not a really bad low point, you know? It, it is kind of like Sleep No More, where it's like, okay, that was a low point, but that was just, you know, whatever. Like, I th th that doesn't ruin the 12th Doctor for me. It's like, okay, that was just a bad episode. And luckily, that was just one bad episode. Like, okay, I, that was a bad episode. Moving on. After that was Face the Raven and Heaven Sent, Hell Bent. You know, that stuff was good. So, yeah. It's it's honest. It's a, basically, it's a low bar now to beat this episode. So, I'm excited to see how we're going to do that, you know? But, yeah. I didn't like this episode. You guys can go ahead and leave your comments. What did you think of this episode? Um, because, yeah.
I didn't like it. But I would be interested to see. Because, again, even stuff like, you know, Sleep No More, was, again, was also an interesting concept that just sort of didn't pan out. This one was an okay concept that really just took a turn at one point, you know? It just took a turn and kept, like, you know, plummeting down. And... Because even, like, Love and Monsters is you know, goofy, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know... Love and Monsters is kind of a guilty pleasure episode. And the fact is that it doesn't have... It barely has the Doctor and Rose in that one. So you can watch and be like, okay, the, here's just a silly side story, you know? But this one really took a nosedive somewhere. And I... Oh, yeah. Huh. So, again, I'd be interested to see what you guys are going to say about this one. But... Um, I'm going to look forward to next episode where I'm just going to assume that we're going to be back on track. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Did not care for this episode, but hopefully we can sort some, sort things out next time. So with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch better reactions to Doctor Who, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe, and if you have... Now, uh, just do it. There's Patreon and stuff in the description. This has gone off the rail. Bye.